Welcome back to another adventure. This time we're going to answer a question from a viewer of the last video. That video was about determining the optimal exposure level. But before we get into that, I want to correct a small error I made in that video. At three minutes in, I misspoke when I said the scaling factor for the ASI 294 was 8, when it is actually 4. Despite checking myself three times, I let that slip through. Sorry if it caused anyone any confusion. Now let's turn to the subject of this video. Darren asked, on my Attic CCD camera, I don't have an offset value, at least not one that I can change. What would you recommend suggest I substitute here? Well, the simplest solution to Darren's question is to look at the specifications for the camera or ask the camera manufacturer. Darren didn't say the particular model, so I'm assuming he's done that and hasn't come up with anything yet. So let's try a couple of other methods. We know that a bias frame is essentially made up of the offset plus the read noise. If we used the basic CCD parameter script as we described in the last video, then we know both our read noise in electrons and our gain in electrons per ADU. If we divide that read noise by the gain, we get the read noise in ADU. In the case of my ASI 1600 at gain 15, that comes out to 0.77 ADU of read noise. It turns out the basic CCD parameter script does that math for us, so you can also grab the value directly from its output. Now let's open a bias frame in PixInsight, and a master bias frame probably makes the most sense here, and let's use the statistics process on it. In my case, since the ASI 1600 is a 12-bit camera, I need to ensure that the statistics process is set to 12 bits. Let's look at the median. It says 47.99. If we subtract the read noise we calculated before, the result should be the offset, which comes out to 47.22 in this example. This is different than the 50 ADU I said was the default in the last video. So let's try another method and see what we get. The dark bias noise estimator script has a way to directly estimate what the offset is. In this case, use two individual bias frames and feed them into the script. It outputs estimates for the offset and the temporal noise. The temporal noise is an estimate of the combined read and thermal noise in the image, although in the case of our bias image, that should be essentially just the read noise. The answers it gives are normalized to 16 bits, so we'll need to divide by 16 for the ASI 1600. This script takes a while to run, even on a fairly fast computer. I'll skip ahead to the end. The script says the offset is 776, or 48.5 when scaled to 12-bit values. The temporal noise is 13.49 dN, or 0.84 ADU when scaled to 12 bits. So why are these different? I don't know. It could be that ASI 1600 bias frames are odd. In fact, we know they are, which is why many imagers with the camera use flat darks for calibration instead of bias frames. It could be that the ZWO ASCOM driver isn't really using 50 as an offset. It could be that these estimates are off in some way. I suspect the bias is not actually 50, since the raw median values in the bias frames were below 50 ADU, and the oddness in the ASI 1600 bias frames should actually raise the value and not lower it. I don't know what the dark bias noise estimator script is doing, so I can't evaluate its accuracy. I do know it gives slightly different estimates if I use bias frames taken at different gains, but only very slightly different. I don't know if my estimate of subtracting the read noise from the bias median is an accurate way of determining the offset, but both methods give close answers to what I thought the value was. I'd probably err on the side of using the largest of the estimates if they're similar. If they're way off, then something strange is probably going on, and it's worth figuring out what that is before moving forward. Ultimately, whether the number is 50, 48.5, or 47, it doesn't really matter too much. If we're trying to determine our optimal exposure value, 
the difference in our offset is going to shift our calculations by only a few dn one way or the other. Even in a 12-bit camera, our difference here only changes the optimal exposure level by at most 48 dn. Based on what we saw in the last video, that difference is still going to leave us very near an optimal exposure value, even if our estimate isn't perfect. If you try this out, I'd love to hear from you on how well it worked. If you know of a better way to determine the offset, let me know. Maybe we can explore that method in a future video. Until next time, clear skies.